Some of you may recall uh, a couple of videos back. Uh, I actually posed the question uh, on the inverter with converter assembly here in a little Prius. Um, what is this tab here? Can you see? It goes over from this panel to cover this bolt. And uh, I never had any answers. So, probably a couple of scenarios. Nobody cared, which is a distinct possibility, or nobody really knew. Probably the truth is somewhere in between. Um, what this basically is here, guys, is um, it's a mechanical sequencer. That is to say, because this bolt is covered, it basically forces you to take this panel off first. Under this panel, when it's lifted, there's an interlock, just basically a little jumper connector uh, that's hooked up into the circuit that tells the car um, a panel has been removed. The high voltage in the system uh, circuit better be opened and in a safe condition. So in the event that there was a, a weekender, <laughs> a shade tree mechanic who didn't understand the uh, the hazards that uh, a hybrid or electric vehicle could offer, basically what it will do is offer a protection to the uninitiated uh, by opening the high voltage circuit to protect the system. Yeah, so the battery itself <clears throat> in this particular version, the Trius, Prius has a nominal voltage of 144 volts DC, of course, and uh, the capacitor is inside here, uh, and the boost converter, which can take the 144 and step up to, I think it's about a maximum of 520 volts DC, uh, those are clearly lethal voltages, so hence the uh, requirement for an interlock, a safety interlock. If you knew what you were doing, of course, uh, you'd go through the proper procedures with the proper personal protective equipment. You know, you would uh, disable the low voltage system, the auxiliary battery, that is, uh, pull the uh, service grip on the system and go through the, uh, the full uh, procedures, you know, removing the key, obviously turning the system off, uh, remotely locating the key in order to safety the system. I'm not here to tell you that. I'm not qualified to tell you that. I was only here to answer the question. Why is that there? It's nothing fancy. It's just a simple, uh, as I said, mechanical sequencer forcing you to remove this because this is where the interlock. If that wasn't there, there would be the potential to remove this connector. Uh, and then, of course, behind here is the uh, MG1 uh, and 2 and the frame wire. This is the DC coming in, the high voltage from the battery uh, to and from the battery um, in order to uh, provide the inverter with its power in order for it to be sequenced wherever it needs to go. So that's it. Nothing really uh, too, too fancy about the answer, but there is a wee bit behind it. That's it, boys. Cheers.